M0FXB, welcome to my channel. So let's have a look at the ADMS 15 free programming software made by Yesu on the Yesu FTM 200. So first thing you do is go down to, I'll put the link in the description to the bottom of this page and click FTM 200 ADMS 15, download that and you'll get a zip file. You can send it somewhere, otherwise just run it in front of you here, just double click set up XE uh, go all the way through the motions and you will end up with this file. Okay. I've used ADMS many times and I think it works great. I, I really do I think it just works very good. So uh, next thing you need to do is connect your cable. Now I've put on the Yesu SCU 20 cable. Right click here, device manager. But it doesn't actually recognize Windows 11. So what you do is double click, right click. You click update driver, then you click browse my computer, then you click let me let me pick, and with a bit of luck, you've got an old one on your computer. If you haven't, you're gonna to have to go and find an old one. Otherwise, get the newer one, which is the SCU either 57 or 58, check with your supplier. So we're connected and we're showing up and we've run all the USB drivers, so that's all good. So next thing you do, you connect it to the to the laptop, connect it to the radio, and now the radio, you now hold down your F menu and turn all the way down to the bottom until you get to menu number 116. You can create shortcuts for things like this. If you hold down F menu and then you can select one of these windows in your, in your quick menu. So we click there. We've now just created a shortcut. So if I just show you that, look, now it's, we can go straight to the clone menu. So actually not at the moment, but you can do that. Anyway, we're back on menu 116 and it's set. We've held it down. It's we're selecting this other. So it's going from the radio to the PC. Now we're going to go to uh, settings and select the correct COM port. Go to communication C down COM port and the COM port number is we saw that in our device manager earlier which is here, number 14 on mine, be different on your computer, and then click determine just to make sure you've got that in there. Then go communication. This During this video, we're just doing reading uh, via the cable and we'll do a separate video for the SD card. So then we'll go get data from the radio. It tells us to do what we just did, 116. And then you've got to put this other, then you go to the computer and click OK. So we're going to go this other, it's we're going to turn to the left, select OK, and then we're going to click OK on the PC and it will read. It does search and it reads. If you fail, just do it again. Right, it's doing it. I sort of had to click OK the other way around in the end. I clicked OK on the laptop first then the radio, then it worked, but it does work fine. I know that sometimes you can use this and, and because it doesn't work, straight away because there's a, a small learning curve to it. Um, you could think it's a load of rubbish, but it's not a load of rubbish. You wait and see all this different settings. You can add your repeaters in there. I've got a feeling when you add C4FM, you add it as analog and then it, it, you just select AMS in your software and it switches over. We'll soon find out because I've never used this software before on the FTM 200, but you can see it's sending it right now from the FTM 200 to the laptop. I wouldn't say it's fast, but well, I don't know if you've got a fast laptop, it might be faster. Right, we're there. Close. So there's not much on the radio, but I'm going to show you the settings first. So we've got settings menu here. And I've always thought this menu was fantastic. Look at all those things you can set. All your APRS, everything. And I will do one with all my APRS settings in. So that's pretty cool. And then to create a channel, double click where you want to create. So let's do um, a local, my, my hub net node. So 434.550, same on the TX. There's no offset on that, but you can set an offset. Offset direction here if you need to. Mode, yeah, it's AM, FM. Let's see if we can get a bigger window here. I know that's everything. As far as I can see, oh no, we can slide over here. Tone mode. 
So we do want a tone. We want 77. Like so, you can do DCS code, user, RX, DGID, power. We only need low on that. Scan, step. You can select narrow if you want. You could even put a comment in. Let's just find out where you tag it. Name here. So, hubnet. Because you can't select C4FM, it makes sense to leave AMS on and it will automatically switch anyway. So that's good. So let's try and send that to the radio. So we go communications, send data. This time it's telling us to go to 117. So down one. Uh, press the dial knob, select OK and press dial knob. So it's OK on the computer first. And then we're going to select dial knob. Turn to the left, select. You have to be quite fast. See that? It's already saying timeout error. Close. So we we'll communications, send, click OK. There you are, I started doing it. So it's a little bit faffy, but it'll work. All right, we're coming near the end. We'll back out of the menu. You know, the squelch button is also the back button. That's the button right at the bottom on the right. So let's go into memory mode. Just push the VM. And we haven't got much in there, have we? So that's worked great, hasn't it? It's a very nice looking radio. P PMG, look, we can just hold it finger down. And PMG is in there. I do like that. Press PMG, come out. Let's have a go at RA Press while we're here, why not? So we'll just close that for now. We'll go to settings. No, actually, we'll go to, yeah, settings. We're going to go straight to APRS. See if we can get some things in there. We're going to turn it on. We'll just do it the fast way. I'm just looking for anything that I need to do. We'll let it use the GPS. Well, but we do need to turn GPS on, though. So we're looking for that as well. Put in a message here. Hello, M0FXB. Message text. Symbol, we'll just leave that as default. GPS, my position, we will put GPS as we're going to turn that on. Call sign APRS, we're going to put M0FXB-6. APR, well, APRS mute just means you don't hear that annoying sound, but I'm, I'm fine with that. Uh, GPS, now we might as well put our location in here just if we did use manual. Just put 5, 1, and 0, 2 I put in. And then just here we just put a 2. Let's see, a 2 here. Like that, normally 0, 0, 2, is it allowing that? nine yeah that's okay we got a location in there right call sign text here i don't know if we need this one but we're going to put it in anyway we we'll do just six for now reply why not let's turn that on frequency now we need to find out where we, oh we have to create a channel for that we can do that as well oh uh, call sign i've done that wrong m0 fxb then dash six Dash 9 is what people normally use. APRS beaconing. We're not going to do smart beaconing. Everything's turned on. The only thing I didn't see was GPS on. So I'll leave all this on for now. APRS units. Just leave that as default, I think. Beacon TX. Let's just put something. Select frequency and shift. Let's put in here M0FXBANDREAS. Looking for anything obvious. Common. In the common menu, do we see GPS? So it looks like GPS probably just gets turned on automatically and then locks. But I haven't, have you noticed here on the band section, you can actually remove sections things from the bands that you select. You can actually make it just an airband radio 
or just a UHF. The different. This has got to be your your. You can change your shortcut menu as hat as well here. Look, that's your F menu. <clears throat> Recording, USB camera, Bluetooth modules. I hopefully come in tomorrow. It fits in the head unit. You move remove the back of the head unit for that. I just realised you probably didn't see those because you're behind the radio. So let's move it over. Just here look, on the right. That's your F function your band settings, WX that you couldn't see. So I've got to move that back. Bluetooth, USB, speed of your data com, your com port setting. Okay, let's create a channel. Shut that down for now. Double click. It's 144.800 in the UK. I think it's 390 in America. There's no offset. Just put a zero there. A A A A A A ARS must be turned on. Offset, it's FM, analog, APRS here, APRS. The other thing I would say is you start saving this because if you get lost, you lose everything. I've noticed that sometimes if you get your settings wrong, file, save as. I'm going to shove it on my desktop. Uh, have I got a FTM 200 folder? Yeah, no, FT1 1200. Because I've noticed if you get something wrong with this ADMS, you lose your setting. It doesn't open a new window for you like the RT systems does. I'm just going to put it in 578 for now. At least we've got a saved file. Same goes with the SD card. Before you start faffing with the SD card, um, definitely put in, definitely save it to your SD card first. Okay, I think that's about it. We've created an APRS. Not sure that's going to turn on our GPS though. We haven't got a lock showing on the screen. So what I'm going to do is change it to manual. APRS. It says GPS. So I'm going to change that to manual for now. Again, we can save that. It should just save in the same place now. Now we're going to write that to the radio, send data to radio, and it's 117 again. So we have to hold down F menu, go to 117. Actually, I could show you how to do that shortcut. So yeah, hold down, scroll to 117, hold down your F, select where you want it to go, Say there, push the channel thing. We've now got a clone RX button for 117 as a shortcut, which is pretty good. So watch this like that, select the shortcut and it does it. Then we can go across ready. We can click, try and get it in the right order. Okay, on, on here it says, select 117 this and press down knob. Yeah, select okay and press down knob. Let's get it right. Select 117 this. We've got it on the radio. And press dial knob. And then select OK and press dial knob. It actually says that twice. OK, so I'm going to press OK on the laptop and then press dial knob. Waiting. Yeah, it says timeout error. So last time I just click close and just click do that again. Click OK. And it starts to work. See what I mean? It's it's a bit faffy. So let's wait for that. It's near the end now. Should reboot. Let's go to memory, turn to APRS, which is there. And it's not showing that my modem is turned on. Let me just find my modem could be that by default it could be on the b section yeah it is so then we just go memory turn to number three yeah it's all showing now let's do an aprs tx got my handheld radio next to this i'll, I'll make a shortcut for it as well watch this hold down f Go up, we're looking for the APRS TX. 
if you notice, at the top of the radio, you get titles to what you're on. So look, Beacon TX, we could just press the channel and it would be, it would TX. You saw that, it worked great, didn't it? And then we could go the other way, go um, F menu, Beacon TX, and it, it hasn't shown the pop-up for some reason, but we can still look at the list. Uh, we need the state station list and select. There you go. Scroll through, and there's pop-up settings. So it, you know it all works. That's great. So anyway, that's it. Showed you how to use the ADMS fifteen. We will look closer at APRS and lots of other functions on this radio. And let's just go back to one of my favourites. If we back out with the squelch, is the back button, and then we'll. Just go back to this window, go back to the aid. You saw my OBS then, that's better. So let's do that again, just for fun. So B can TS, just do the shortcut menu like I said I was going to. Hold down F, and we could put another shortcut there, channel. And now you've got a shortcut there, hold down F. Let's go to Beacon TX, hold down the F. We can make a shortcut where the squelch is. So now we can stay on the F menu, scroll to Beacon TX, push the button. And it's because it's already got it in the memory, we have to go F menu, station list, and then select it. That's what we've got. Should we go back the other way again to so F menu? If I did, I'm not sure why the pop up didn't show. Let's put on single receive, but it should actually show. It's a very nice, clear looking screen. F menu, back out first. F menu, beacon TX. So it must be a setting in my pop-up menu because that should show really. So anyway, I'll go to F menu. We've got a shortcut created for station list. Select it and there's the details and you can scroll through if there are more details. So thanks for watching 7.3. Catch you on air. All the best.